Okay guys, you know who it is, it's Chris Pang. So we're back, hopefully going through examples of decision making questions in terms of evaluating conclusions and assumptions. So let me not bore you, let's get straight into the questions because that's what you're here for. And okay, so with me on the iPad, now these statements here from all round fruits on the farm are orange, all the way to all green fruits cannot be round. You have to make a judgment, it's either yes that they are valid conclusions or no that they're not or you cannot tell. So here it says one of the first conclusions, all round fruit on the farm are orange. So we have to ensure if it's yes or no. So in the first sentence it says, all the square fruit in the farm are orange, all round fruits on the farm. Could there not be, okay, none of the round fruit on the farm are green. So here it says none of the round fruit on the farm are green. So it means that it cannot be green, but it can also be potentially another color. So it doesn't have to be that all round fruits on the on the farm are orange. It could be yellow, it could be another color. It doesn't necessarily have to be orange. Even though it mentions orange in the passage, it, it doesn't have to be orange. So, because you're not restricted to two colors. So essentially it's a no. That's what I'm saying. You have to think about it from like outside the box. Try to think about it in a way that you're trying to find a example that will disprove it and by you not being able to find an example you will make sure that it is a true statement that's usually the way I try to approach these questions so all fruit from the farm cannot be sold on the market okay so we go back to the first sentence fruit cannot be sold at the market if they're both orange if it doesn't mean it's green what well, it can mean that it can also be round and orange fruit from the farm cannot be sold so this is false so it's not true because the fruit can be round and orange I'm going through it a little bit slow um, primarily because just to explain it but also because I'm a little bit you know sketchy on this um, that's why I leave these sort of questions to the end um, but no way near as fast as how I would have done it in reality some of the round fruits are more expensive than some of the square fruit so it says some of the round fruits are more expensive than the square fruit. Here we have, it says green fruits are the only fruits more expensive than the orange fruit. Now the orange fruit can be the square fruit. And the green fruit, none of the round fruits on the farm are green. So the round fruits cannot be more expensive than the square fruits. And that's just the way it is. It cannot be. The reason why it says the green fruits are the only. Now this qualifier essentially makes this question a lot easier for you to be able to go through and answer. Now this cannot be true because we know that none of the round fruit on the farm are green. So the round fruit cannot be green and green fruits are the only that are more expensive than the orange fruits which are can be the square fruits. So that is, so remember, no, no, no. Any fruit more expensive than the orange fruit cannot be sold in the market. We know that the any fruit that is sold in the market has to be a green fruit. Now we know that the square fruits on the farm are orange, all the square fruits. Here there's another clarifier, or yeah, so here's another clarifier. Now we know that all the square fruits in the market are orange. So by that logic, nothing that can be green can be sold there so essentially any fruit more expensive than the orange fruit cannot be sold on the market so explaining this any fruit more expensive than the orange fruit the orange fruit are the square fruits the square fruits so here back to the top it says here that you know, I was going to go into another color just so you guys can see the square fruits here are all orange here here's a clarifier just for you guys to see and we know that the green fruits are the only, here's another clarifier, fruit more expensive than the orange fruits. So any fruit more expensive than the orange fruit would have to be green. And we know that none of the round fruit are green. Therefore, we know that any fruit more expensive than the orange fruit cannot be sold in the market because any round fruit cannot be green. So it has to be the case that nothing can be sold Hence it is the case and this statement is true. Now all green fruits cannot be round goes back to one of the first tips that I explained earlier on. 
that this is going in the reverse direction and this is faulty logic. So if you go back to on the first line, none of the round fruits on the farm are green. Now the way to explain this would be that all green fruits cannot be round. That's the definitive statement. Now one, it doesn't make sense to us so we know that something might be wrong. That's just, that's not a technical approach in answering this but this is, you have to bring in your intuition as well. But also, the fact that we've been given a small example of a farmer it doesn't necessarily mean that his example is the only example and so we know of vegetables like um, you know broccoli um, celery and all that craziness so we know that that is incorrect as well so it'd be no 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 yes no so that's what you'd put in and hopefully you'd get two marks for that two marks and hopefully you should be able to answer these questions faster as you progressively go through more and more questions so hopefully let's get on to the next question if you have very minimal time i have an ebook that is present in the link description and that's my killer 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 tips essentially i explained them in the video but there are some tips in there that i haven't really explained basically catch you guys on the other side why is it hard for me